how to get your first 100 YouTube subscribers. Hey, you don't have any subscribers. You don't have any, none, nothing, zilch. Or you have some and you're trying to build. That's why you're watching this video. You came to the right place. Also at the end of this video, I want to tell you a pretty embarrassing thing I did on my YouTube channel that, uh, you know, could have killed the channel until I finally figured it out. I'll tell you that at the end, but let's get started. Okay. I'm J.R. Fisher. I appreciate you being here. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget, ring the bell, turn on all bell notifications, all of them. You gotta hit all of them. Otherwise you'll miss something. Don't you want to be that VIP in the Fisher family that gets notified before everybody else? Of course you do. Of course you do. You're better than them. Aren't you? All right. Don't forget also comment below your comments mean a lot to me and that's part of my embarrassing story which i will share with you at the very end uh, pretty embarrassing stuff but anyhow comment below give me a thumbs up thumbs down whatever you think if you have an idea for a video put that below if you have a question on how to make money online put that below i love getting your comments embarrassing story has a lot to do with that but i will share that with you in the end so there are certain steps you need to do to make money on youtube to grow your channel and to get subscribers now if you're trying to get subscribers you probably realize there's a value to that and there is a value to that right if you get more subscribers you can at some point monetize and you can get paid with ads on your videos but not not necessarily that because that's gonna be a small part of your income if you're getting more views you can put things in your description and you can sell products you can build your email list you can offer free downloads you can do all kinds of stuff in your description below but if you don't have any subscribers it doesn't matter right so we gotta get subscribers so let's let's talk about um, these are like the 10 main things that you just got to do okay number one is narrow your audience make sure you have a niche i see this over and over again where people will just do random videos um, they'll do videos on cooking one day and then the next day they're taking a trip somewhere and the next day they're cleaning their living room and the next day they're just in their car talking about random things you cannot cannot build a channel that way um, we don't know this in the beginning and when i tell you this it's going to make common sense to you but the point is people go to a channel for a particular reason so maybe they go to one channel to learn how to bake they go to another channel to learn how to work out without weights they go to another channel to learn how to do seo they go to another channel to learn how to sell in the e-commerce they go to channels based on a niche so it's very important before you start your channel you sit down and you say who do i want to reach who's my audience who do i want to talk to what am i going to say to these people that's the important part number two create a trailer for your channel now a trailer is a video that when people go to your main channel it will play and it will tell them about your channel what it's about you know what what does it do for them they want to see that so if you have that it's going to hook some people into listening to your channel if you tell them what they're going to get number three create an interesting profile super important that you do this um, having a profile tells the people a lot about you it can build a loyalty to you it can build a friendship with you uh, it can give some of your background maybe somebody can relate to your background maybe you had a tough start i think we all had a tough start i, I don't know i don't talk to too many entrepreneurs who are doing really well now that it's just always been easy i mean i just i don't meet a lot of people like that i'm sure there's some out there i'm sure you know some people got super lucky but for the most part you're not gonna you're not going to get that lucky it's not going to happen that way uh, what's going to happen is you're going to have to put in a lot of work and if you put that description into your profile and people see that a lot of people may actually kind of link with that and go yeah that person's like me i want to watch and see what they've got to say next thing that's super super important choose searchable titles that's number four searchable titles how do you do that you have to use a tool basically you're not going to know what title is going to be good unless you test it with something like TubeBuddy. i highly recommend TubeBuddy. in TubeBuddy, you can put in a title change around the words it will give you a score for that title once you get that score high enough then that's the title you use the important thing to remember is you're not making videos that you want to make you're making videos that people want to watch that's the important thing so if you're not optimizing this title nobody's going to see your videos if you aren't making a video that people are searching for that people want to see you're not going to get any views you're just not going to get subscribers it's not going to happen all right the next one number five is make better thumbnails and you know making better thumbnails and first off some of you may not know what a thumbnail is so let me tell you 
a thumbnail is what people see when they search YouTube and there's a little picture there on the actual video that's called a thumbnail now if you don't make a thumbnail YouTube will do it for you they're just gonna take a screenshot of part of your video it could be you making a bad face or whatever and that's gonna be your thumbnail so we don't want to do that we want to make thumbnails that are gonna stand out now it used to be uh, a lot of people would get to where they would put a lot of information on the thumbnail and you know a cool picture and a cool background and that would really stand out but unfortunately over the past few years a lot of people start doing that same thing and now all those thumbnails look the same uh, we've gone to more basic ones with maybe just a picture and a red background and two or three words so those are very easy to do but you have to create thumbnails it's got to be an engaging thumbnail and keep in mind whatever words you put on there you want to put as few as possible because most people are on mobile nowadays a phone so they're looking at your thumbnail on this phone it's very small tiny okay so if you're putting a bunch of words on there or they blend in the background or the colors aren't right uh, and it's it's too pastel or whatever it's not going to stand out now some of you will say well that's not my brand you know my brand is this and that it may be but if you want people to watch your videos you're going to need to change your thumbnail okay you can't have the light pastel colors on there and expect people to actually click it's got to be bold it's got to stand out it's going to be reds and yellows and blacks and that's what's going to stand out and that's what's going to get people to click so that's super important number six you want to add a watermark now what's a watermark a watermark is down in the bottom right of your video it allows people to click and actually subscribe to your channel so you can put that little watermark down there and that makes a huge difference because now they've got something to do you also have to tell them about that okay you got to tell them that it's there I think the assumption is when we know something as a human being we assume everybody else has the same knowledge base They're like well I know this why don't they know it because they haven't been exposed to that yet because they haven't learned it yet and there was a time when you didn't know it right you didn't know it you didn't come out going I know everything um, you learn stuff along the way their knowledge base may be a whole lot deeper than yours and better than yours in another area okay so you got to remember when you want people to do these things and I'm gonna bring up another thing in just a second you've got to explain to them what it is and what they need to do number seven use YouTube free analytics so important that you use this guys uh, this is something I didn't do in the beginning I didn't really understand it or what it was but if you go into the analytics you can actually see which of your videos are performing well you can see which ones are getting clicks and you can do more videos with that particular subject matter if you want to grow your channel that's what you're going to need to do so as i go in and look at my videos i pick the ones that got the most interaction the ones that got the most views and i try to do similar videos to those that's what you want to do too so you got to use those free analytics there's all kinds of analytics in there you can look at your click-through rate you can look at the length of time they're watching your videos all those things are important and if you have a short a watch time that means you know maybe you're doing this great title but when they click on it it's nothing like what the title says you know they click and it's not good and that's going to hurt you in youtube also because they want people to stay on a video youtube wants people to engage with videos to watch the whole video is what they want um, obviously you can't get everybody to watch the whole video but the more of that video you can get them to watch the better off you are in google analytics the next one is create consistent content oh my gosh this is so important um, consistent has nothing to do with the amount of content you do okay so you could do 25 videos and upload them all today and if you did that you wouldn't do well you wouldn't do well because the analytics in YouTube looks at consistency you would be better off if you had 25 videos to put one in a week for 25 weeks and you're gonna end up with a lot more subscribers than if you put 25 in today it just takes time um, now if you did more videos if you put in 25 videos every single day right and you did that five days a week yeah you're gonna do really well <laughs> you'll do really well uh, but that's kind of hard to do it's kind of hard to do that many videos so you know start off with one a week you pretty much to grow your channel are going to have to do two or three a week in the beginning to grow with any speed could you do it with one a week could you have some you know ones that explode and do great for you yeah it could happen for the most part it doesn't most people don't do well on youtube because of these things i'm talking about here they they don't do all these things so they don't do well now the next one is leading people to staying on your channel and number nine is create playlist create playlists playlists are so very important 
because they're on a particular subject matter they could be a series of videos and i've done that before we'll have two or three videos that is part one part two part three um, i've done ones that are just similar in general uh, and put those in playlist but once they get into a playlist and they're interested in a particular subject in that playlist they see other videos that are related to it they may pop up on the side there they may stay and watch more and the more they watch the more youtube is going to send more people to your channel is the more they're going to show your videos for people to click on and that's going to grow your subscriber base the next thing this is huge this is huge it's number 10 and i didn't do it for the longest time i didn't do it um and that is ask them to subscribe <laughs> now i'm going to ask you to subscribe right hit that subscribe button right now don't forget just click it seconds take you a second but we assume that people know to subscribe they don't and not only do they not know to subscribe they don't know what it means so when you hit that subscribe button go ahead and try it right now a bell is going to pop up like this okay now that bell wasn't there before you hit subscribe some of you may not know that now, once the bell pops up, you've got to click the bell, click it so you can see, and then you want to turn on all notifications. If you notice it's personalized, it's all notifications. You pick the one that's all notifications. You want to tell people to do this because if you don't tell them to do this, and if you notice, I told you in the beginning of the video and also closer to the end of the video, if you don't tell them, they're not going to subscribe. You know, maybe, maybe they do know. Okay. Let's say they do know, but they forget. They just forget they forget to do it so that's another problem you run into so it's really important that you tell them about it and you tell them in the beginning of the video and at the end of the video if you want to do it in between you can do that too but the important thing is you got to tell them if you want to get subscribers now i've got a bonus for you and this is my embarrassing story <sighs> i hate to admit it when i first started doing videos on youtube people would comment and it would irritate me yes it would irritate me i'd be like oh my god these people are asking me questions i don't have time to answer these questions i'm busy doing videos i can't answer questions there's no way i can do that little did i know is that by answering questions it shows interaction youtube likes that because they see the interaction people interacting on their platform and they will show your videos more so i had gone two or three years and i never answered any comments i didn't answer any of them because i didn't want to <laughs> i was lazy but I also didn't realize the importance of it. Now, when I get comments, which I get them every day now, which is kind of cool because for the longest time I said, okay, I'm going to start answering comments. And then there were none, there were none. And so nobody was commenting because I had let all that go on my channel. Um, but now when I get a comment, I not only answer that comment, I do it as quickly as I can. And here's the key. If you really want to grow your channel, this is key. Not only answer their question, ask them another question ask them another question think about this they do one comment and you answer it there's two comments in your comment you ask them another question if they come back and answer what you asked them that's now four comments youtube likes comments so it's really important that you don't just say thank you you know if they say well, that was a great video you know what i may say is thank you what parts did you like is there anything you didn't like and get them to interact with me a little bit um, I may talk about quitting your job and they may say, yeah, I quit my job. I was a blah, 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 whatever it was. And I may say, Hey, yeah, I know what it's like to quit your job. It's pretty scary. What was the one thing that motivated you to quit your job? And I may ask them another question and that's going to turn that one comment into four comments. And if you do that every time, it could be five or six. If you want to keep going with this person, some people will, but if you do that every single time and you do it quickly, because people, you know, when they do a comment, you know, they kind of want to see if you're going to respond. And some of these people want attention. They want attention they want to talk to somebody so you could be making somebody pretty happy because they got somebody to talk to you don't know their situation you don't know what's going on in their life uh, i will say always be kind to them it is difficult as a human uh, and i know i've struggled with it before i haven't always done this perfectly but it's difficult as a human when somebody attacks you and says something mean to you or bad and you want to say something back it doesn't do you any good that is like trying to convince somebody of other politics it's not going to happen so i i thank them for their criticism and i say i'll try to work on that and do better you know that's about all i can do uh, what else would you like to see me correct <laughs> you know get another question in there maybe you get some more comments so bottom line i screwed that up in the beginning i don't now now i answer them now i get more comments uh get some good ones get some bad ones that happens and hey while we're talking about that why don't you comment below right now why don't you comment on this video what did you learn in this video what did you like would you dislike thumbs up thumbs down give me one of them give me some interaction don't forget i've got a 97 dollars course down there 
it's absolutely free for a limited time you'll want to grab that course don't forget to do that very important you do that i really appreciate you watching this video make sure you subscribe did i say that subscribe i think i did yeah i think i did have you done it there's the question have you done it make sure you do that okay thank you so much for subscribing if you did it thank you so much for turning on notifications and thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next one Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.